Moving on with our newscast tonight, COVID-19, as we know, it's impacted almost all parts of our lives, including rental and lease agreements for your homes. Did you know that? What you may not be aware of is that as a tenant, you have certain rights that you can exercise despite the ongoing pandemic. Jonathan Pulasic is live to tell us more. Good evening, Jonathan. Good evening, Tatum. I spoke with Legal Aid of Northwest Texas. They're a legal group that provides representation to low-income individuals, and we spoke on a variety of topics earlier today. But perhaps the biggest topic that we spoke on dealt with what rights a tenant has when they face issues with their landlord or their property manager. Under the CARES Act is a federal eviction moratorium running through July 25th that prevents landlords from issuing notices to vacate for certain properties. We often see out here with uh, the CARES Act is that a lot of people don't realize if an apartment complex takes one voucher or one type of uh, federally funded, um, you know, subsidy, everybody in that apartment complex is uh, covered under the CARES Act, even if they don't participate in the federal subsidy themselves. Tenants in Texas also have a right to not be locked out of the property. They can go and request that the door be unlocked or whatever, or they need a key to get into uh, the property. And the landlord has two, within two hours to, to do that. They have to provide that. And the landlord also can't shut down utilities for non-payment of rent. Another thing that um, tenants don't always realize is that the landlord cannot shut off their utilities, whether they are paying rent or whether they are um, haven't paid their utility bill. The landlord can't can't do that unless there's some kind of emergency. However, landlords have rights as well. The grace period for your rent, landlords don't have to respect that. Tenants think that they have this grace period and that, oh, I, I can't pay on the first, but as long as I pay before the fifth, then that's okay. Well, actually, if you don't pay on the first and that's written into your lease agreement, they can actually they can actually go and and get that notice to vacate. They don't have to wait for that grace period. Now, if you wish to go into a little more detail about tenants rights, Legal Aid is offering webinars every Wednesday throughout the month of July because they believe that the most important thing is informing the public about these rights that they may not be aware of. Now, the, uh, these webinars are free to join. Anyone can join them and all you have to do is contact Legal Aid in order to join in on those Zoom calls. Reporting live in Midland, Jonathan Palasik, News West 9.